beautiful window we have in the back of church, which is difficult to see, but is this scene from this gospel today. And it's an interesting window because Jesus is standing there with Peter, and now this is right after the resurrection. And, you know, he tells to Peter and James and John go out, and uh, he saw them out there in the boat, and he says, drop your net again. And they were like, well, we're not going to, we just, we just did this. We did this all night, we caught nothing. And Jesus said, drop it again. So they did. And all of a sudden, they hauled in all that fish. And then they realized that it was Jesus on shore. So Peter went running into him. This is the first time Peter really met him after the resurrection, got a chance to talk to him. This is the first time Peter got to kind of make amends for denying his Savior three times. So now we ask, well, why does Jesus say to him three times, do you love me? This was a confession, a confession that Jesus initiated. Well, Peter ran to Jesus first, so he wanted to kind of ask forgiveness, show his love, but Jesus was the one who drew it out of him. Do you love me? Do you really love me? Of course, Jesus knew the answer. Peter's right, but he needed to say it. He needed to physically say it. I love you, Lord. Well, brothers and sisters, this is confession. Jesus knows our sins. But we need to physically say it. I'm so sorry. I did this. I'm so sorry. I did that. Is it necessary for him? Probably not. Is it necessary for us? Absolutely. Because we need to feel healed. We need to be able to have that face-to-face -face conversation with our Savior so we're no longer shielding ourselves. I can imagine Peter being worried about this after he had denied Jesus. Can you imagine whenever you, you, you do something to somebody else and then for a long time you either like stay away from them or you don't know what to say? I'm sure Peter was the same way, but Jesus forgave him found a way to have a conversation with him, even get Peter upset a little bit. Peter up in that stained glass window is like, oh my gosh, stop asking. But brothers and sisters, this is why we need this great sacrament, so that we can say what we need to say so that we feel healed and be ready to move on. It did the trick for Peter, and it does it for us. This is the great sacrament we have in confession. We need it. Let's take advantage of it so that we can feel healed. Please stand.